Hey guys, I'm back with Reggie. How's it going, dude? Good on, brother. So I I was recently flipping through a magazine and I ran across this full page ad of this company selling clear plastic cases for you know your game collection. Yeah. And it's funny because I've been collecting for a while mm -hmm. and I've never used any product like that before. And I and I had this light bulb moment where I was like, why am I not doing this? You know what I mean? Like and then and then and then I was like, oh, but Reggie's smart enough to do this. <laughs> he well, does it every time he comes over. So I was like, dude, come over and explain, you know, adding these cases. It's it's relatively simple, but I mm -hmm. want to talk about it a little bit. No problem. You know, one reason I got into these cases was because I collected Game Boy, Game Boy games, and I liked collecting them in a box. Now, of course, you know, Nintendo uses cardboard boxes. Right. And they, over time, you know, they kind of deteriorated, depending on how you take care of them. Right. With these cases, I mean, Give you an example. Let me grab one game here. Well, where to go? These games are protective cases that you know that still keep the game uniform, but it just it protects it as well, and they look really good. So yeah, you won't be like nervous when somebody goes and hey, let me check out this game you have in your collection because you know how some people which are, is what like, I do. Don't touch like my, my meat hands, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know these cases are very durable. I mean, well, well not crazy durable, but you know, if just in case I get dropped it or actually stepped on it a little bit, these things offer protection to these cases, and they're they're awesome. I mean. And they're, they're, I would say more like, uh, of course, like you would get them for like games, like for cardboard box games, of course. You could also get them for just cartridges as well. You know, if you want to put your cartridges in here, because if you leave cartridges out, they kind of, uh, depending on the area that they're in, they, they get bacteria in them. And they, Sometimes and the labels can, can fade, they can get labels yellow, can fade too, or and everything, they can get especially. damage from moisture in the air, depending on where you live. Exactly. So, you know, a lot of people don't understand when they, sometimes they put these games in and they don't understand when they're not playing, mm -hmm. you know, when they don't haven't touched them in a long time because the bacteria is actually built up in there and it's dirty. Yeah. So these cases protect from that as well. Uh, the other thing I noticed here too, so he brought over a bunch of them to put in on some of my games. So you're seeing all my games here. Mm -hmm. And you know, for the first time, games like this have had cases on them and like they're perfectly clear. Mm -hmm. Like, like you know, there's no coloration to it. I mean, I was really impressed. I was like, again, it was one of those moments like, oh man, why didn't, why haven't I not been doing this? You they know, they look so time. nice and professional. They do. I mean, honestly, this, this was a great idea. You yeah. Know? And like I said, it preserves these boxes, you know, uh, to the fullest, I think, you know? So we, I, I asked him to just go get a smorgasbord yeah. of, of cases here. <laughs> and so some of the cases, I mean, and there's a lot of them. So we have obviously the original NES. What else we got? Got the Turbo Graphics. Turbo Graphics. If, if you can find these complete in the box. I know, it's funny because he messaged me. He's like, hey, do you have any? I was like, uh, I have one. <laughs> oh, so, dude. You know? <laughs> but you got your N64 uh, protective case. These also work with an SNES as well, yep. as you can see. You got Nintendo here, of course. Oh, did we just show Nintendo? Nintendo. But then we also have the, the, the cartridges themselves. Themselves. Yeah, they got the cartridges themselves, you know, yeah. because uh, uh, now it seems like those sleeves that a Nintendo created back in the day are hard to find because people yep. are collecting those now. So, you know. This is the next best thing for me because I'm not a, a big box collector for mm -hmm. this. So actually for me, I may go out and buy maybe a hundred of these. Yeah, you know, definitely. And, and this and is how I'll store my, my cartridges. And then of course, you got the Game Boy games. Here. Yep. Which... And then also N64, and I'm sure there's a bunch more. Uh, you know, pretty much anything that sort of had an original cardboard case, it seems like has protectors out there, which is cool. Yeah, definitely. And one of the main ones I thought was a turbo one, because this is kind of scarce yep. to, to find these games. So and, I thought it was amazing. They, had they these... squish easily, too, because mm -hmm. they're not really strong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So huh. pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, I might not have all the cases here that are out there, but these are like a majority of the ones I found, and that, they're pretty awesome. So I think if you want to protect your items or make them look good, you know, pick up some of these cases. Absolutely. So this is a little tip for you guys when you're collecting out there. It's funny because again, I, I should know this by now, <laughs> but you know, I, you know, I'm a little slow. I'm a little slow, but, <laughs> but hopefully this can help you guys. How much are they typically, how much do they typically cost? Well, if you find them uh, from a, a store, I, I think a store would typically tar charge you maybe $2 for them. Okay. You know, which again, so. it's like, you know, if you really care about that game, it's worth the investment. I think yeah. you know they might charge a little cheaper. It depends on the store, but I think the most would be two dollars. And probably, I would suspect that if you go online, maybe you can buy them in bulk, which I think a lot of collectors like us would buy do. Buying bulk is probably the best thing to do. You Absolutely. Know? But again, they come like this, and you just kind of break them open and fit your games in there. It's very simple, yep. and, and they, it clips in and everything. Yeah, so they're really, really high cool. quality. So, all right. Well, thanks for coming on the channel and doing this with me. Yeah, no problem. I hope I was informative. Informative enough for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> always, man, always. All right, guys, thanks for watching.
In this video, we briefly mentioned Reggie's amazing Game Boy Advance collection. He actually collects them complete in the box. And like I said, it's one of the best I've seen. Not a lot of people collect complete Game Boy Advance games. So it's cool when he brings it over and we have done a bunch of hidden gems with his collection. So I will link to that in the upper right. You will definitely want to check it out. Thanks for watching.